When was the last time you watched an independent film? What would have been your influence on it? Was it through advertisement or was it through your knowledge of independent film? An increase in technological advancements led to an increase in the number of independent films being made at a higher quality. However, until mainstream cinemas recognise independent films as blockbusters, the gap between the two remains the same. I went to catch up with Finola Garrity an independent filmmaker to discuss today's independent filmmaking industry. Making independent films as, as very low budget films that are experimental, that have new people, new, you know, unknown actors in them and there's a, there's a gulf between mainstream and low budget where you can't get a name because you haven't got enough in the budget to pay them to be in your film. The fact that more mainstream films now are depending on 3D or I think it does mean that more people can pick up a camera and learn to make films on their own. They don't have to wait to go to film school or wait to do media studies at school. You know, they can start as kids making stuff and editing it. Technology now means we can access cinema online and through apps, enabling us to book online through various sources of technology such as smartphones, tablets and laptops. The difference between independent and mainstream gross box office sales in comparison is significantly different. An example of this is Skyfall which made 102.26 million in the box office sales, making it number one top film released in the UK. Second was Dark Knight Rises, making 56.26 million box office sales. And finally, Marvel Avengers Assemble, making 51.87 million. In comparison, independent films such as The Women in Black, which is the highest independent box office scale film release, only made 21. million. Three, three million. Another independent filmmaker, Daniel Moses, explains how people are able to get funding and support for f their films and how advances in technology have led to people having more of an interest in independent film. The creative sector accounts for £71.4 billion pounds and contributes about 5.6% of employment in this country. They can it upon themselves to fund their own films through things like crowdfunding and through websites like Kickstarter and Indiegogo where you run a campaign and you have lots of people putting in small amounts of money. Hollywood films, commercial films are always going to have big, big advertising. Independent films have always got an audience. You will be able to go and see them in independent cinemas. Distribution-wise, you can get it onto YouTube like that. Websites such as Netflix revolutionise the way in we watch films. With also the rise in illegal downloading of films, which has led to film companies receiving less profit. Having all these illegal downloads of mainstream films makes it even harder for independent films to be seen in cinemas. This therefore leads to cinemas such as the Phoenix Cinema Infinity being in danger of being shut down. Yes, there are factors such as competition from mainstream cinema and films, and by having less money to fund for their films. Is there anything that can be done to save these independent films?